must be new. I'm Lou. Yeah, hi, I'm Sam. I never done the whole group therapy thing before. I'm a little nervous. Oh, well, I was nervous too my first day. But Dr. Hamill is so great. He's really helped me out a lot. I've recently gone through a divorce. I recently got divorced too. <laughs> my papers in the hallway just before I came in, so mine's just a little more recent than yours. So. <laughs> just divorcing a bunch of things and like tons of people right now. So. Okay, well, I'm Lou and this is Sam. Nice to meet you. I'm Penelope. It's my first day, too. It's my second first day, too, too. So. <laughs> I guess we'll watch out for each other. Yeah, I'll probably watch out a little better than you, though, because my vision's really good. So. I also have like 20 80 vision, so I have cat eyes. I can like see through things and planets and stuff. So. Okay, everyone, seven on the dot. That means you should all be in your chairs. I'm getting your chairs right now, so it's seven on the dot, so we're starting. <laughs> starting. Right. Everyone, welcome back. As you can see, we have a couple new faces here, Sam and Penelope. Mm -hmm. Now, I know it can be intimidating on your first day, so what I like to do is just have you observe for a bit, get comfortable, see how this works. Good? <laughs> okay. Last week, we left off with Bob. Bob, you were talking about some of the anger issues you were having with your neighbor. Yeah, it, it's getting worse. Uh, last night, he was playing the drums until one in the morning, and I found myself getting really angry and standing in my hallway holding a golf club, ready to just... I got really angry at my neighbor, too, once. Uh, I was standing in a really big hallway, and I was holding a golf cart. So. <laughs> Tiger Woods was sitting in it. So. He told me I was pretty, and he's at my house right now. He's cleaning. I'm sorry, Penelope? Um, we don't allow crosstalk at this meeting. Thank you. Go ahead, Bob. Thank you, Dr. Hamill. Yes, thank you, Dr. Hamill, too. <laughs> Thanks to all the doctors in the world. So I just want to thank all of them. Oh, Dr. Hamill. I'm finding her very distracting. Yeah, I really think I want to punch her in the face. <laughs> all right, everyone, let's just take a deep breath. I already took two breaths, too. So I can breathe so deep that I can move furniture with my breath, so I rearranged my whole house that way. So I'm just Okay, let's, uh, let's try to get back on track. Um, Sam, you okay? Dr. Hamill, I'm feeling really anxious. I just, I need some air. I need to go outside. I think, oh. actually, I'm sorry. I think I'm having a panic attack. I'm having a panic attack, uh. too. <laughs> My panic attack's having a panic attack. It's called a panic anic attack. It's worse. So. Sam, Sam, Penelope, sit down. Please have a seat. Penelope, I am running this show, not you. I shouldn't say this, but you are driving me nuts. Oh, I and drive I, well, myself nuts. Uh, yeah, I drive myself, actually, in a nut car, so... My car's a nut. I do promotional work for planners, so... It's a Mr. Peanut on wheels. The windshield is a monocle, and the convertible roof is a top hat, so... It's parked outside. So. Sit. I think we could all use a break. You know what? I've got a good idea. I'll play a DVD. It'll help you find ways to relieve stress in situations like this. These methods really work, too. Welcome. Everyone has stress. That I am stressed too. So one time my hair fell out. <laughs> okay, okay, that's it. Uh, Penelope, I'm asking you to leave. Dr. Hamill, I don't feel so good. I don't feel so good either. So I have a fever of 161. Here's what the moment is. Penelope, stop, or I'm going to call security. I am security, so... Are you guys having a problem in here? You're security. Really? Well, good for you, Penelope, because you know who I am? I'm, um, I'm the guy who wrote the curious case of Benjamin Button. You know that, huh? I'm the inventor of the air mattress, Penelope. Also, Oprah and I have a secret marriage that lasts six years. And you know what else? I'm best friends with a banana. So, 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 what do you think about that? What do you have to say about that? <laughs> well, I guess all I can say is Benjamin Button was based on me. I'm 70 years old. So I'm gonna die an old lady baby. So. And I invented air, so every time you breathe, you owe me 10 cents. <laughs> Opa's best friend Gail and Stedman and Dr. Oz and our wedding was at Harpo Studios. And I used to be a puppet. I was on Fraggle Rock. And my two best friends are a tomato and Liza Minnelli. So. Okay, 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 that's it. Let's get some coffee, everybody. Why don't we meet back here in 15 minutes?
want to hit the town, you know? Here, girls' night out, sex in the city style. Ah, a little time. Now look, you're here, my best friend, and I'm gonna buy you all the non-alcoholic beer you can handle. Let's go. I'm really thirsty. Oh, I'm yeah, I'm thirstier. Well, I was thirsty the no, day before. So. But I was thirstier in, in the in the in the floor. Wow, what a touching ceremony. I've never been to a wedding where so many people cried. I know. Nicole looked so beautiful. I'm so glad I brought tissues. I brought tissues too. <laughs> Probably more tissues than you. So I also brought paper towels, a beach towel, a sponge, and a sham wow. So. <laughs> used them all up, they're wet, so I guess I was more emotional than you were. So. Oh. Honey, this is Penelope. <laughs> Hi, I'm June. I went to high school with Nicole. I went to college with Nicole. So. And her parents and her neighbors. We all live together in a dorm. I also went to school with the DJ, too, so I just probably know everyone here a little better than you. Well, it's, uh, it's nice to meet you. Hi, everybody. Uh, two announcements. One, I hope you're ready to boogie tonight. Uh, and two, while we wait for the bride and groom to arrive, we'd like you all to take your seats. Your salads have been served. I already ate my salad. So it was my 10th salad today, so it was really good. So I have a salad bar in my car. So anyway... Uh, the steering wheel is a big crouton. And it runs on blue cheese dressing. Wow, this table is beautiful. Look at all these cute little boxes. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. Oh my god, they have, they have M&Ms in them. At my wedding, we had M&M and M&M, so... Just a few more M's on our candy, so a little bit bigger, a little better. We also had L&L and L&O's and Q&Q's. &Q's. It's a little better than m and They're from Iceland, they're known for their chocolate. Really? All right, everybody, it's the moment we've been waiting for. If I could get you to look that way. I'm already looking that way already, so... <laughs> the only way I'm looking, so I guess I'm just a little more focused than everyone else. Are those horse blinders? Really? Now, everyone, I would like to introduce for the very first time ever, Mr. and Mrs. Nicole and Steve Parker. Oh, boy. Oh, my God, what is she doing? Thanks for coming, everyone. Uh, it means so much that you're all here tonight. Yeah, but don't okay. drink too much. I still have to pay for the honeymoon. Yeah. <laughs> I just got back from my honeymoon. We went to the moon, actually. So it's made of honey. Well, uh, enjoy your dinners, everyone. Yeah. What was she doing up there? That is so rude. June, relax, OK? Let's just have a good time. Why don't you clink your glass so they have to kiss? You love doing that at weddings. I do love seeing people kiss at weddings. this entire reception. Look, you making a scene isn't going to make it any better. Well, she's ruining their day. This is my day, so I bought it from the government. It's National Penelope Day in 14 countries. The children celebrate by running into the streets. The post office is closed, but I still get my mail. Really? Honey? Wow. Just... Na National Penelope Day? Well, you know what? The month of June was actually named after me. And um, you know what else? Uh, every night before I go to sleep, I take my feet off, and if I close my eyes real tight, I can, um... Oh, I can watch Toy Story on my eyelids. And my mom's a roller coaster, and I was born in the, uh, in the 1930s. So, um, what do you have to say about that, Penelope? <laughs> well, I guess all I can say is that before I go to sleep, my feet take me off, and they go to bed. <laughs> and when I close my eyes really tight, I can watch movies on demand. I can choose whatever I want. <laughs> it's free, because I know a guy. My mom has six flags in my dad's bush garden. <laughs> and whenever I want to, I can turn into a black and white movie star from the 1930s. Are you serious? Are you, are you kidding me right okay, now? Honey, why don't we just go relax and get some You know what? Air, Let's okay? go to the bar. I need drinks. I, do not Absolutely. come with us. Let's just... I don't need to go to the bar because I already had 50 margaritas. So... <laughs> I'm going to get my black and white car now, but I'm not going to drive because I'm drunk. <laughs> <laughs> just a little drunk right now. So... <laughs> Okay, everyone, welcome to traffic school. I know a lot of you don't want to be here, but need I remind you, you're all here because you messed up. 
This ought to be fun. Yeah, I hear that. I can probably hear you better just because I really get ears. So. <laughs> I was in a listening contest this morning. So I came in first and second. So I just have really big eardrums. Probably bigger than yours. So. Hi. I know it's been a while since you've all been in school, but if you want to talk, you have to raise your hand. Um, actually, I was in school this morning. So just to go to school all the time, go to school on the weekends. So it hasn't been that long for me. So I just came from there. I just came from school. Excuse me. What was your name? Penelope. Well, Penelope, if we don't get started, we'll be here till Tuesday. That's my favorite band from the 80s. <laughs> all their CDs and everything. Great, great. My name is Regina. As you know, we will be together for nine full hours today. Uh, excuse me, uh, can you tell me when the breaks are going to be? Because I have to pick up my seven-year-old daughter from her piano lesson. I have to pick up my six-year-old daughter, so she's one year younger than you, so she'll probably just live a little bit longer than you. She's teaching piano, so she also teaches horns and computers and guitars and Spanish. <laughs> To answer your question, we will have an hour for lunch and a couple of 15-minute breaks throughout the day. Now, I'd like to have you all tell each other why you're here. Jim, why don't you start? Well, uh, I had an accident. My insurance rates uh, went through the roof. I went through the roof, too, so they were just really high. And I went around the roof and inside of it, and they were just all so high. They just were all over the roof, so I guess they're higher than yours. <laughs> Anyway, my insurance company said if I uh, completed this class, they'd lower my rates. Mine so said I... they'd lower my rates, too. <laughs> so much to pay for me. I guess my insurance company is better than yours, so it's Geico. <laughs> Penelope, could you please sit down? All right, who is next? Randy? All right, well, uh, I made an illegal left turn, and I got speeding tickets. I have Three 99 speeding tickets. <laughs> I was just speeding so fast, I broke the sound barrier and drove through the beach. <laughs> In the future, I already took this class and everybody passed. So congratulations. Okay, lady, you're freaking me out. All right, all right, settle down. We've got a really long, hard day ahead of us. Can everyone please, please just listen and, and be quiet? I was already listening before I came, so, so this came here, so my voice is so quiet, it doesn't even make a sound, so. Okay, thanks for that, Penelope. The longer this lady talks, the longer we're gonna have to be here. I mean, I think this girl's a little nuts. Actually, I'm big nuts, so yeah. I live in a nut. My house is a macadamia nut, so. The front door is a big almond, so just, it's probably better than your houses. It's all tears. So. You know what, Penelope? Penelope, I, I, have had, I have had enough. You know, did you say that um, you live in a nut? Well, that's weird because I live in a cloud. <laughs> and guess, I guess now is a good time to tell everyone that I'm friends with Kermit the Frog. What do you think of that? Oh, and also, um, I just got back from a three-week vacation from the planet Jupiter, and you know what else? Um, guess who my biological father is? Yeah, Tinsel yeah. Washington. So, 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 like, um, like, what do you have to say about that, Penelope? So, hmm. Um, I guess I'll say that, um, I'm best friends with all the Muppets. Including <laughs> Scooter, so. I was invited to all their weddings. And I have a condo on Jupiter, so it's my summer home. I probably know the area better, so. <laughs> My biological father is George Washington. A little more famous, he's on the dollar bill. I am too, that's my eye in the pyramid. <laughs> also, I dated Tony the Tiger, I broke up with him. And if I want to, I can shrink myself to two inches tall and just walk around. Yeah, yeah, walk okay. whatever. Around, come on. You, you know what, I, I think, I think we should do it. Why don't we all take a break and get some uh, fresh air and uh, a drink of water? And, and Penelope, I, I really think it would be best if you weren't here when we come back. Yeah. Yeah. That's okay. I already left, so I left before you even asked me. So it's okay. Oh, hi, Turn of the Tiger. Oh, how are you? Oh, just good? That's weird. I thought you'd be sitting out.